Hey everyone, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Well, today's video is going to be on 72 inch, 6 foot KFI Pro Series plow I have for my CF Moto U Force 800. You've probably seen some of my plowing videos and the walk around of the machine itself but in this video I'm gonna show you just how easy this plow is to mount and unmount as well as how high it lifts and go over some of the features like that so like I said this is the Pro Series by KFI Open Trail it has your adjustable ride feet so you can adjust the washers and your rubber shims to adjust how the plow rides it has all your nice heavy duty reinforcement or some of your standard grades don't have it has your slush mat on the top it has a real nice wear bar that is replaceable across the bottom You have a bunch of adjustment here as far as how you want to angle your blade. So you can set that for stone driveways, blacktop driveways, and stuff like that. So it doesn't dig in. Or like I said, you can just adjust how it rides. Same with the spring tension. You can adjust how much and the angle of the pull. You have your right and left adjustment there in the center, which that's all nice heavy-duty quality steel. And I'll show you here once we get it hooked up just how easy it is to move some of the cheaper plows out there. In a year or two, that mechanism is so rusted up you can't even turn your plow left to right. It is made in USA, so that's always a good thing. And like I said, you really got a lot of heavy duty reinforcing with this blade. It's almost a little too wide. It's 72 inch, 6 foot, probably 5 foot, or 5.5 would be ideal, which 5 they make, 5.5 they don't, but it's plenty. As you'll see here, once we get it hooked up, I mean it does pull the machine down in the front end and especially if you get this all covered in wet heavy snow it's tremendous amount of weight you'll definitely need an upgraded winch this has a 3500 pound KFI a lot of your side by sides are starting to come with 3500 pound ones um, but this had a 2500 from the factory and another thing I would highly recommend is they make plow strap cables for your winch where they're nice wide almost like ratchet strap type straps and that is definitely a real good idea to get if you have a heavy plow like this I'll show you here in a minute well I can actually release that now this does have a wireless remote i'll release some of the line here where you can see what i mean but when you're plowing you only use a few inches close to the winch here and with this kind of weight you can kind of see on the synthetic line how it's starting to fray just a little so it's getting towards the end of its lifespan but for heavy use on your plow you'll definitely want to upgrade to one of those Trap style leads for when you're plowing and then you can just put your winch line back on in the spring when you're ready to just use the machine for other purposes but I'll hook this up here and show you just how easy it is all right guys so to hook up this plow it's extremely simple you have two hitch pins for the rear hookup and then your winch line and like I said, this machine has a wireless remote, so you can just release some line. And the 
probably be enough. And then take these hitch pins out. And then you have your plow mount that stays on the machine. And just lift this up, slide your pins in, your pin on the other side. And then moving around to the other side. Same thing, you just got one hitch pin for here. That's done, and then all you do is hook your winch line here in the center and take in some of the slack. And just like that, less than a minute later, the plow is completely hooked up and ready to go. You can grab your wireless remote and raise it up. This does lift very high. So I'll raise it up fully and I'll get you that measurement here but as you can see it is incredibly high it's the whole way up to the push bar there and the top of it's even higher than the hood so raises incredibly high some of them you're lucky to get a foot off the ground this one here is way more than that. Get the tape measure here. And if you didn't have the push bar, you would have a little more height too because it goes up against that. But as you can see here, we have 26 and a half inches to the bottom of the plow. And like I said, if you didn't have the uh, brush guard here on the front, you'd gain another four inches easy. So that would probably translate to even more than four inches at the other end. But because of the brush guard, it does limit how high you can lift. Otherwise, you really could go up with it. But plenty high. And I'll release a little line here and show you how smooth the angle works. But you got your release pin here right in the middle. Just pull that up, spring loaded, and look at this. And you can just push this plow with no effort at all. There you are, tilted the other way. There it is, locked in. I'll release some more tension here for you. But that's with it plowing left. Still got plenty of room in the front here too. Some of them, of them get really close. And maybe that's another reason why it's so wide. If it'd be shorter, it'd probably be into your tire closer. Especially when you turn, but. Again, you just pull your pin, flip it around the other way. And now you're plowing right. Most of the time I just plow centered that way or not on and off the machine plus if you're doing a lot of plowing this down in here ends up getting pretty covered in snow anyways but unless something super deep it's easy enough just to plow straight that is the overview of hooking it up super easy process and then as far as the wired winch controls, if you watched my other walk around video, 
you got a port there in the glove box for your wired control there in the back and your wireless remote slides right here in this slot so that's a handy place to keep that I use that for hooking it up or on the trails and stuff uh, but for plowing I always use the wired and I just run the wire out down around the shifter and leave the controller right here you can even zip tie it if you have a lot to do but most times I don't leave the plow on because I use the machine to ride around the snow and stuff like that so I want this all easy to take out but then your wired remote is right here handy and you can use your thumb controls in and out and it's right by your e-brake and your shifter so you can move from your shifter right to the winch controls and everything's handy some guys even mount them you can get other options as far as that but all the factory stuff works good enough for me and a little bit i do here on my driveway but putting this right here beside your parking brake seemed to be about the best like i said unless you're gonna actually have a permanent mount somewhere but you don't want it too far away from your shifter because you're going from forward to reverse a tremendous amount when you're plowing and you want everything pretty handy and easily accessible but that's how i run that But overall, really sleek setup, especially with the open trail 3-inch pod lights. That gives you really good visibility if you're plowing late at night or in the dark. Winter time, it gets dark by 5 o'clock. And with the rear dump bed here, you can get salt spreader inserts or use even one that goes in your hitch and like i showed earlier in the walk around video it does come with this adapter here if i can find it that plugs in back here you got this port and goes to four flat so it's perfect for anything four flat powered like trailers like i said some places these are street legal so it would have lights and you can get the turn signal kit um, but for anything else that you would power off of four flat here is your pigtail to do that you just plug that in and you're ready to go so you could run a salt spreader hitch mount or even get a bed mount or you can just like i said get the hitch mount and then you can store all your salt right in the bed give you extra weight and these machines are absolutely a tank you could really move a lot of snow with it And you have seven, just over seven gallons of fuel capacity. So pretty good run time between fill-ups. This machine does have four-wheel drive, obviously, and diff lock, as I showed in the walk around. But again, for the people just looking at the plow video. So with that all engaged, it is extremely capable. If you look around the channel, you'll see a video where I plowed over a foot of wet heavy snow and had absolutely no problems whatsoever. It could have pushed a lot more. I had snow rolling above the slush mat there. It was that deep. Like I said, that was real wet heavy stuff too. So this would be a lot of weight in a hurry. Especially when you're starting to clear up here and Going the whole way out the driveway, it's a long pass to push to get opened up. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. If you're new here to the channel, 
please hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to keep these videos coming. You can also follow me on Facebook. The link is in the description below.